Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wild Crendor, and we've got some sweet Karazhan music in the background right now. So, I wanted to bring up Karazhan a while ago, but uh, I left for BlizzCon, I was busy just doing other stuff, the medical issues, all that, all that fun stuff, and so I didn't get to it. So I wanted to get to it now, and I'm going to run it again tomorrow. Uh, I ran it the first time with Gmart when it came out. Uh, a few weeks back on my Twitch, and we streamed it. It was like six or seven hours it took us with a pug. We pugged a tank and a healer and another DPS. And it was great. Like, even though we, we pugged it, it was still really fun. And we got a competent pug, and they wanted to do it as well. And it was just, I thought it was, I thought it was great. They have all the nostalgic factors. They kept a lot of things, but they also made it, uh... Five man, they made it just difficult and just different enough that you're like, this is really great. And I would love them to. I would love if they did that to more um, old dungeons or old raids. Just turn them into five man dungeons. I know it probably takes a while, but I think people would be happy doing that type of content. And uh, I don't know. That's that's just what I think. So. Uh, if you want to see that, you can go to the videos or VODs over on my Twitch channel, and uh, you'll find our Karazhan raid buried in there somewhere from a few weeks ago. Uh, also, I want to do a pointless top 10 of the new Karazhan. I have like three... The reason I haven't done pointless top, tens, uh, top 10 in so long is what I just said, like uh, this BlizzCon and medical stuff happening, but I've been working on three pointless top 10s, so... Uh, one's Karazhan, one's Valshara, and one's, uh, one's something I won't tell you, but, uh, there's three of them, so, get ready, we're gonna come back full force with Pointless Top Tens. That's not what this video about, is it, <laughs> it's about, it's about, uh, what your opinion is on this type of content, and I, I made one on, like, the faster, uh, patch release content, instead of having big gaps between content, so, like, um, they did announce that patch 7.2, I believe, will hit mid to late January, is what they're saying, with Nighthold. And Tomb of Sargeras will come a bit later after that. And then, they're going to have patch 7.3, which is Argus. And they say Argus will not be a leveling experience, and it's not an expansion. Uh, it's an outdoor zone, quests, raids, and... It'll be the capstone of the Legion story. We take the fight to them to get more than just a temporary piece. So that is also really cool. I think it's great that they finally are focusing more on filling the gaps of content where it's like, all right, nobody's playing the game anymore because nothing's happening for 12 months. It's like, oh, there's stuff happening every up, uh, couple of months now. Uh, maybe I will stay subscribed. I think what they're doing is great. I'd rather wait an extra, you know, half a year to a year and actually have stuff to play than uh, have nothing to do until the next expansion. I think it's a way better business model. And stuff like Karazhan is a perfect, perfect example of what they should do. So, um, Karazhan, I don't know what your opinion is on it, but mainly I don't know what other raids would you like to see uh, made into five mans because um, I did my interview with one of the WoW engineers, I uploaded that yesterday if you didn't see, and I asked him that question, and he was like, I would love if we did five-man Ulduar, and I was like, oh shit, dude, a person on the Blizzard, a lead person who's worked there 11 years is like, yeah, we should do some Ulduar five-man, and I was like, shit, dude, maybe he knows something, maybe he knows something, are we gonna get a five-man Ulduar? That would be legit. Um, but yeah, I was trying to think, I thought, like, maybe one of the Zul... Uh, to like Zul Garub, Zul Amon. I knew, I know they redid Zul Garub. Um, but that was a while ago too. Maybe Zul Amon redid would be pretty fun as a five man. I, I think I'd love, love to do Zul Amon. Um, so yeah, what, what instance would you like to see redone as a five man? Uh, comment down below. Per usual, I'll, uh, respond to some comments down there. I read most of them. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else I really wanted to talk about in this video. At least I think not. I think my favorite part is they kept the that swaggy Karazhan music. Listen to that. 
I love it. I love it so much. And they they did the same with Negrand in Draenor, but there's something about Karazhan music, dude. It's so good. It's so good. It's almost like Banjo Kazooie catchy tier esque. I'm just throwing words onto it. Um, uh, and apparently they did say that they were very happy with how how Karazhan worked out so far. I think one of my favorite fights in that whole thing was uh, the the mana worm, where you get shrunk down and then you are really small and you fight normal mobs like they're a boss. I thought that was great. I loved that. And the only downside I think I had in Karazhan was the runback times. I thought the runback times were just so long. It was like, oh, we wiped on the final boss again. Guess it'll take two minutes to run back to where we were. That was the only negative I think I had of the whole thing. Because otherwise, I thought it was great. I thought everything, all the boss fights were fun. I thought it took just enough time to complete. I thought the gear was well-tuned. I thought it was, I loved it. So, uh, leave your thoughts below, comments below, all that stuff. And yeah, okay, okay, so yeah.